Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Isaiah 49 from verse 14 to 16. Isaiah 49, let's read together. One to read. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. 15. Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget you. 16. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Help us, Holy Spirit, the book of remembrance. Write it down. I want to share with you a very powerful and deep spiritual mystery. Very deep spiritual mystery. The book of remembrance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Yahweh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Yahweh. Yahweh. Let your kingdom. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Yahweh. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Yahweh. Yahweh. One more time. Apostle John was banished on account of the testimony of Christ. Please sit down. And whilst John was in heaven, he had access to many, many truths about the operation of heaven. John was told to write a letter to the seven churches in the then Asia Minor which were a typology of the complete church admonishing them across different lines of the spirit walk then john had access to the throne room where he saw the worship of the father and the worship of the lamb then john had access to the things that will happen thereafter 
he began to see the end of times and the desolation that would come upon the nations then when we get to chapter 20 john is given the privilege again to go to the throne room and he's watching and john testifies that there are books in heaven and books were opened the book of life was only one of the books this is john's record and we know that his record is true john said he saw that there were books in heaven that those books had many functions and that those books were for earth there were things that happened in the earth that were captured in those books one of those books is what i want to share with you what it represents in the lives of the saints it's called the book of remembrance hmm. the book of remembrance memory is a very deep spiritual mystery please look at me memory is an advantage that god gave man it is because of the power of memory that you are able to remember it is because of the power of memory that you are able to preserve knowledge are we together now it will be impossible to advance in science and so on and so forth if you lack memory memory is a system of retention is god's intelligence given to man an ability to retain things because god is not only a giver he's a keeper but i know whom i have believed follow me tonight and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed so god has many systems of keeping things there is a system that keeps the prayers of the saints the bible says the prayers of the saints arise like incense and they are collected in a vial and stored he's able to keep hallelujah and that one of the things that can be kept in heaven is the activities of the saints in the earth and that there is a book called the book of remembrance now the book of remembrance to a carnal man would suggest that god forgets the book of remembrance is not necessarily supposed to remind god as though he forgot no the book of remembrance is one of the ways that god administers justice in heaven please understand this in the judiciary some of you who are lawyers and are legal practitioners you have a very thorough knowledge of the constitution however there is a manual a compendium of all of the policies that should govern the activities of men within a defined territory and when you are in the law court i pray that god will open your eyes tonight when you are in the law court you not only need your memory you need the books the books that archive and represent the basis of your advocacy the judge himself before he would pass a declaration no matter how experienced he will make reference to the books and consult with the things that are written there please listen very carefully and as he consults with the things that are written there he would be able to come up with certain verdicts there are people who look guilty until the book bails them out there are people who look innocent until the book proves otherwise and then we see that there is a book of remembrance the activities of men in the earth the bible clearly lets us know that there is the all-seeing eye of god now if you studied fine arts you would have learned something called perspective is that true that means that a viewpoint you can stand from an angle and they will ask you to capture every information you can find paint it draw it 
let it be represented are we together now the same applies for technical drawing and anything that has to do with construction you are taught to be able to capture realities and images and information from different angles now so when i am here now i cannot clearly see overflow one i almost totally cannot see overflow three i cannot see our online people and so when we talk about the ability to see it's difficult for us to understand how god sees because we think that god uses his eyes to see the realm that god dwells in listen very carefully the realm itself is an eye the bible says listen carefully that god dwells in unapproachable light that he's full of light and in him there is no darkness no shadow of turning no variableness are we together now so that everything that surrounds god everything emanates light and so there is no possibility of darkness i hope you know that darkness also means the absence of information the absence of truth so that from the realm of god it is impossible for any activity to happen within a sphere that is under the jurisdiction of his creation that he cannot see are we together now the concept of sight we only know it based on what physics would teach us or medicine and and all of that but you have to look at sight as a product of light if the bible says there is no iota of darkness that means there is no absence of information there is absolutely nothing upon the face of the earth that the all-seeing eye of god the creator cannot see now this is very powerful because there are things that you would wish a man saw so that you would be able to advocate for you for instance the injustice that happens in our world are we together now people can be oppressed and use their earthly influence to manipulate injustice to become justice but the bible records that while all of that is happening in the earth the all-seeing eye of god is there a system of vindication that what men cannot vindicate you on there is still hope are we together now please follow me very carefully so we're discussing books here god sees all things god knows all things god is everywhere this is the unique attribute of god that he did not share with man it is what qualifies God to be in a class of himself. God gave man any other thing. Gave him his image. Gave him dominion. Gave him the Holy Spirit. But God did not give man omnipresence. God did not give man omniscience. God did not give man omnipotence. These exclusive dimensions are reserved in God's class. Man does not know all things man cannot be everywhere are we together now this is very powerful so the bible records that every once in a while god would seem to show up in the earth and then begin to backdate certain things whether for good or for evil that there is a system by which god can go back in time and begin to deal with an issue that you may think has been long forgotten and that there is also a system where god can go back in time and begin to reward the saints for certain things now please understand what i'm telling you then the bible comes to the earth realm and begins to teach that men can forget are we together now scripture is scattered with this possibility that the best of us can forget your memory card can crash is that true your laptop can crash 
there's something in medicine called brain damage i don't know what it is but i i have an idea that whatever it is it represents a state where your brain for some reason may not coordinate at the frequency it was supposed to there are people who have gone into coma is that true and they came back and could not identify their wives their husbands is that true they didn't even know themselves they didn't know how to walk again how to talk again now i hope you know that if memory is not a possibility you will not be able to walk you will not anything you did now you will not remember again so that memory is an advantage you can archive yesterday and use the information for today i don't have to learn to walk again i learned it once it's been recorded it's been stored anytime i need to walk i use the mystery of remembrance are we together now listen very carefully i don't have to learn alphabets a to z again i did that many years ago but because of this power the ability of retention through memory and the ability to call the past into your present not everything in your past is bad i can call that knowledge and use it today is that true if i raise a song now that you used to sing when you were small it's amazing how effortless you will still sing it remember you did not rehearse but for the power of remembrance but as as flawless as men are they still forget they can forget i can give you a promise come show i can give you a promise meet me tomorrow and i'll give you one thousand naira and excite you you may remember but i may forget whether for health reasons demonic manipulation or just whatever it is and you come to me making a demand and i say no 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 i cannot remember and i rob you an opportunity to enjoy this blessing simply because i forgot there are people who are not employed today because their helpers forgot they forgot where they kept their cvs are we together now there are three stories in the bible that are very interesting they are testaments of the mystery of remembrance and how the saints can tap into this as one of the mysteries that cause them to command dominion and very quickly we are going to look at it remember this is a prayer meeting story number one genesis chapter 41 i'll run through the story very quickly the bible tells us that joseph when you begin to read from chapter 39 then chapter 40 the bible lets us know that joseph now from potiphar's house on account of an accusation remember what relocated him was an accusation potiphar's wife lied that he raped her and then they relocated him to a dungeon a prison and left him there and then the bible says one morning that joseph watch this joseph noticed the countenance there were many other people in the prison but two were worthy of note the buckler and the wine presser the bible says they all used to serve the king and for whatsoever reason they annoyed him and he threw them into the dungeon and so they were there with joseph and then the bible records that joseph on seeing them he called for their attention and then they communicated dreams they had heard and joseph said tell me the dream and i'll help you let's see what can happen and then the butler brought his own dream and then the wine presser started first and the interpretation of his dream was in three days the king the pharaoh of egypt will call you out of the dungeon and you will be restored back to the palace where you will serve the butler was impressed at this news and said i also dreamt and he said okay tell me your own dream i was holding three baskets upon my head full of bread he said and suddenly the ravens came and ate of the bread and joseph said oh dear this is what it means in three days you will also go out of here but the only issue is that when you are out of here you will be hung and the birds will eat your flesh so he was done and then he quickly told the wine presser please when you go to pharaoh do not forget remember me 
tell Pharaoh, now that you are with me in the prison, we don't lie in the prison. There's no point lying, you are already there. Prison is where they tell the truth. A lie is told so you will not go there. But once you are there, you see that? So at least we've been able to discuss as co-prisoners. You know the truth now. Please go to Pharaoh and use the opportunity you have and tell him that there is a man who is who has been unjustly accused and whose destiny has been unjustly tied i can imagine the one presser say no problem god bless you when i go back the first thing i will do is to tell i must make reference to the person who prophesied to me it's amazing how good things can make you forget where you came from and can make you forget that you need to help others too this is man for you are we together now i i can imagine them hugging themselves loving themselves blessing themselves and saying look i'm not sure you'll stay more than one week in this prison again now that i'm out by evening just imagine in the prison that we're discussing your issue and joseph will say thank you but the bible i love the bible the Bible says that when he was reinstated, it noted that the man forgot Joseph. Joseph remained in the prison for two years because one man's memory went bad. Please understand the implication of this. Not because his skill went down. Not because God was no longer with him. The memory of his helper could no longer capture the need to help him and the man was there full of grace full of gifts full of potentials full of prophecy full of dreams but at the mercy of one man's memory are we together now then the bible says when god was now ready to remember by himself genesis 41 let's start from there I've saved the long reading of chapter 39 and 40. Genesis 41. Let's start from verse 1. And it came to pass at the end of what? Two full years. Take note of that information. Two full years. That Pharaoh dreamed. And behold, he stood by a river. Verse 2. And behold, there came up out of this this and that and that jump to verse 9 let's save time verse 9 now remember let me just save us the stress he gathered everybody the sorcerers and everyone and said i have dreamed a dream that has troubled me the pharaoh speaking now and he attempted to get those who would interpret for him and they could not interpret and then the bible says verse 9 then spake the chief butler unto pharaoh saying i do remember i do remember my faults this day next verse pharaoh was wrought with his servants and put me in word in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker and we dreamed a dream in one night, I and he. And we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. Read on. And there was with us a young man. Was he not supposed to say this earlier? But because he could not remember, two full years were added to a man's experience. And now by the mercy of God, look how effortless he's remembering everything. That means the information was still in his memory. Something stopped it from coming to light. Follow me, please. It does not look like this man forgot the story. So why could he not remember? Look how articulate he is in stating everything. Remember, his brother was now two years old in the grave. He had died. And he still remembered everything. He says, there was this young man, an Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream, did he interpret. 3, 13. 
and it came to pass as he interpreted to us so it was me he restored unto mine office and him he hanged 14 hallelujah 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 the power of remembrance then only after remembrance then pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him hastily hastily that means speed was a possibility in his life but just because the memory of the benevolence what he did could not be remembered this man remained in the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto pharaoh now when you begin to read the remaining parts after interpreting the dream at that moment joseph is reinstated and not only reinstated promoted to get to a point where he became the prime minister of egypt and pharaoh made a declaration that only in the throne would joseph be lower than him now remember that everything in scripture is a type of christ and the church are we together number two everything in scripture is prophecy the bible says the things that were written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope are we together now yes so joseph is put on that throne and then they bring him an egyptian wife are we together now the daughter of potiphar the bible says the priest of own and she became his wife and they too became the rulers of egypt and under their leadership egypt began to thrive and excel even in the times of famine now notice everyone who came to buy grain to survive only did that because one man remembered look at the miracles that were associated with remembrance the reinstating of a man the fulfillment of a prophecy the saving of a nation and the then world from famine for seven years were at the mercy of one man's memory everybody say the book of remembrance if one man's memory can produce that kind of boomerang effect one man just remembering and the king fetches him from a dungeon and he becomes a representation of God's purposes within his day then it means there is something we need to know about the power of remembrance number two in Isaiah chapter 38 please give it to us verse 1 the Bible talks about a man called Hezekiah are we together now in those days verse 1 please look up hezekiah was sick unto death everybody say unto death that means that something was about to end in his life and the bible says isaiah the prophet the son of amos came unto him and said thus saith the lord now when god is speaking and and i hope you know that isaiah was not a fake prophet isaiah was a genuine prophet Thus saith the Lord, set your house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Who is speaking? God is speaking through a mouthpiece called Isaiah and saying, Hezekiah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are not going to recover. You will die. And Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the contents of Hezekiah's prayer ready and he said everybody remember now remember when i remember my wrong this day that's what the butler said remember now oh lord i beseech thee how i have walked before you go to the archives and check god of heaven i know there is a verdict upon me now but i place a demand on the mystery of remembrance remember that you are a just god righteousness and justice at the foundations and i have become a lawyer at the point of death i need to plead a case and i'm using the remembrance he says i have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart 
and I have done that which is good in your sight. Is it not written that if they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity? Is that true? Now, Isaiah is bringing before God. He's saying, Lord, I know you are God, but something is wrong with this verdict. I know that you can remember there are archives, testaments of my uprightness before you. And I bring it before you. And I plead, although you are God, remember. Next verse. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah again. So the Bible is showing us how God remembers. Now watch this. He's praying. Remember the content of his prayer. Remember. The Bible is showing us how God remembers. That when God remembers a thing or a person, this is how he acts. Verse 4 again, please. Let's go back to verse 4 so that we we'll understand what we are doing. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, next verse. Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard your prayer of remembrance. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add to thy days 15 years. Verse 6. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. And then you will read on, he used the sun as a sign to go back 15 degrees. So that he would know the certainty of the things that were spoken. Everybody say remembrance. If you knew Isaiah and Isaiah died, you say, oh dear. I mean Hezekiah. Hezekiah, you have gone. But Hezekiah refused to die. And Hezekiah used remembrance to insist that, oh God, remember I have walked uprightly before you. And the Bible says God remembered, he turned his situation around. The last story is a prayer meeting. Harush Kalabra Takatosh. Story, story. Once upon a time, there was a king called Ahasuerus. And that king, the Bible records that he was lord over 127 provinces. Then the Bible lets us know that he was married to a woman called Vashti. And that the king would usually, as they did in those days, flaunt their glory, including their wives. Are we together? And it was time to bring Vashti to the scene. And Vashti refused. And I hope you know that what Vashti did was not really... It was an offense, but it was not that bad. It was because she was in a position that she had the power to influence other women. If the king, Ahasuerus, was not a king, an ordinary man, the suggestion would be counseling. Counsel them and say, that's all right. You are not the first. Just make sure you don't act like a stupid woman tomorrow. But because she was in a position, the king was such a nice man, he didn't want to act. But his advisors came and said, no, 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 no. These people are models. That means not every offense carries the same gravity at every level. You will do tomorrow what you did today and the consequence may be more. Are you seeing that now? And then the Bible says Vashti is banished. Then the scene changes. And the king calls for young virgins to come all within the province. And then the Bible says in Shushan, there was a little village girl called Hadassah. Are we together? Yes. The, she was the niece of Mordecai, one who sat at the gate. Now, please follow my story. Then the Bible says, a time came when certain people were conniving to dethrone Ahasuerus. And Mordecai heard that information and he took it to the king and told the king that this and that such and such is to happen and they apprehended the people and justice was administered then the bible says it was recorded and left are we together now yes so cut the long story short esther becomes queen but in that same palace the right hand man of the king 
who was a friend to Vashti, obviously. Are we together now? By the name Haman. The Bible says that this man was antagonistic to the purposes of God. He hated the Jews. I believe had they left Haman for long enough, one day he would have implicated Esther herself. Because his plan, the Bible says, was to annihilate the Jews one by one. He would first focus on the ones outside the palace and then deal with the ones within the palace. So Haman was making life very difficult. Are we together now? And then every other thing that happens is the hand of God and how he delivers people. But now let's go very quickly to Esther chapter 6. On that night, look up please. On that night, could not the king sleep? And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. I hope you know that the book of Esther, again, is a type of our relationship with the Christ. Esther being his bride, the church. Mordecai being the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Haman being Satan, the accuser of the brethren, who once had access to the throne, who was now banished. Are you getting the point now? Esther being queen, King Ahasuerus being the father. Now understand all of these stories. The Bible says that on that night could not the king sleep. Was it not in your Bible that you should give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem? Are we together now? So the Bible says that they were read before the king. Next verse. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bithana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on King Ahasuerus. Verse 3. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath been done not will be done that means under normal circumstances this man should not be in this situation after communicating that level of benevolence what had been done to this man Mordecai for this then said the king's servants that ministered unto him there is nothing done for him there is nothing done for him the company runs by your intelligence but there is nothing done for him. The lives and the destiny saved through your love for God, but nothing done for him. Next verse. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was coming to the king, the outward court of the king's house, to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai look at this 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 wicked Luciferian type of attitude that means if the book of remembrance were not open for three more days Mordecai would have died remember it coincided with when he wanted to get the permission to finally finish him ah it's good to be remembered on time is good to be remembered on time now here is a man i'm sure the man had discussed with his wife we will hang that man today but that same time quarter to shame may god arise for someone in the name of jesus christ just when the desire of the wicked seems to find expression by the intelligence of God and by the mystery of remembrance, may God raise help in the name of Jesus Christ. Follow my story. Her man was in the outward court of the king's house to speak to the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. The guy had dug the gallows. I'm sure in his mind he had imagined how Mordecai would die. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. God can remember next verse and the king's servant said unto him 
behold her man standed in the court and the king said let him come in let's read on look up please so her man came in and the king said unto him what shall be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor when god is ready to lift you now notice when he was talking to the chamberlains he said what shall be done to mordecai but when her man now came if he said what should be done to mordecai he said uh -uh, what will be done to the man whom the king honored i hope you know this same mystery was used to conceal jesus when the pharisees came and said are you the christ who are you john said i am the voice of one crying that means i will not tell you i'm elijah that will forerun the coming of the lord are we together now jesus christ that concealing continued to happen until the father finally declared this is my beloved son so now mordecai is hidden as the man who the king wants to honor now her man thought in his heart watch this to whom will the king delight to honor more than to myself so his selfishness was about to propose a fantastic idea to his peril he makes diviners mad that god can turn their reasoning backward so that they will not perform their enterprise and her man answered the king for the man whom the king delighted to honor comma let the royal apparel be brought before the king before which the king used to wear that means her man had even been eyeing Hazarus himself are you seeing it now yeah. you are told to honor a man and you say king you have many robes there's one that you wear let it be done to that man when you start wearing the king's clothes you are shifting closer to the throne my god and the horse that the king rided upon does that sound like satan to you i will be like the most high i will arise above the stars of god the same spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience it says and the crown royal which is set upon his head verse 9 and let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of of one of the king's most noble princes that they array the man withal whom the king delighted to honor listen and bring him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor full stop what a wicked man because he thought about himself and listen that opportunity only allowed his lost and imagination everything he had imagined to happen by all means now he had the chance and he said king this is what should be done to that man next verse hallelujah ah. then the king said to her man make haste and take the apparel and the horse that thou hast said and do even so to joshua selman there is a strong anointing on what i share with you That seated at the king's gate let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken nothing next verse then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him before the horseback through the street of the city and her man was dragging Mordecai. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Next verse. 
And Mordecai came again to the king's gate. Now, notice this. Let me explain to you what this means. Look up. After all that glamour, when Mordecai was done, he returned back to the gate and sat there. Will you climb the king's horse with his apparel and not go to the throne and sit down? Mordecai said, I will stay where I was lifted. There was a place I stayed. Even though I am rising, I will not forget that it was my service at the gate that caused remembrance to come. Can you wear the king's robe, ride the king's horse, and still remain where the king kept you? The king had not promoted him. The king gave an instruction. I'm sure while Mordecai was on that horse, he was saying, don't be carried away. You are not yet in the palace. You will go there, but you are not yet there. And he came down. Imagine the entire crowd say, Mordecai, I'm sure you are the assistant now. And he says, watch me. Let me return back to the place from whence that grace found me. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. Someone be Mordecai tonight. Hey. Listen, this right here is how great men fall. When they are tested with power, when they are tested with lifting, when they are tested with the anointing, when God begins to lift you and sudden lifting come overnight, chances are that you will forget. Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. It says, let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these things, you will say, my power and my might has gotten this. He said, but thou shall remember. Listen, it's not only God alone that has a book of remembrance. Men must have books of remembrance. When David stood before Goliath, he said, the God who delivered me I remember what happened. The God who delivered me from the bear, delivered me from the lion today. He would deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Forget not. Forget not that he took you from nothing. Forget not that there were 10 of you in your family and you are the first to rise now. Forget not that it was, you, you started rising before you knew anything about favor. Forget not. Let's just stay here and let me teach you something very powerful, my brothers and my sisters. A man who can remember is a man who can be sustained a man who can remember the faithfulness of God remember where you were yesterday remember the hand that lifted you that is the man that will never go down pastors forget businessmen forget 
years ago i remember i watched a nigerian film of a village girl who was loved by a wealthy man i don't know the name of the film i don't even know who acted it are we together now and he picked this village girl i think she was selling something granite or so, you know the way they do nigerian films and he saw her and liked her and picked her his parents insulted him he said kill me i would marry this village girl and then like 11 years or so down the line she had become the wife of this man and there was another village girl who was a house help in that house and this one's village girl ill-treated this woman ill-treated the young girl until one time i think she got blind or paralyzed or something and when she was paralyzed it was the small girl that stayed with her in the hospital and then a pastor came to pray for her for uh, uh, healing or something and then she began to remember that all of this and that and that then the long and short of the nigerian film is that she later discovered that that girl was her sister the little girl i think the, maybe the mother had the child somewhere also that was her sister that she was ill-treating let me tell you this the bliss of the palace made the butler to forget the bliss of greatness the applause of men you know most people sit down and say what is there in fame what? no 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 there is a reason why remembrance is necessary you want sustainable anointing you want sustainable impact please learn to remember you need to have a book of remembrance that is in the similitude of that which is on the throne i remember that 10 years ago when i was nothing this gentleman came i remember when i was soaking gary for instance you will say i remember so that you don't see him 10 years later and push him no there are mistakes you make when you are outside of the palace it does not matter if you make those mistakes in the palace you will pay for it first she could make any mistake outside the palace and go scot free but now this mistake on the throne would cost her so much thou shall remember the lord thy god thou shall remember many have forgotten their fathers many have forgotten their mothers many have forgotten those who played all kinds of roles in their lives many have forgotten the god that lifted them many have forgotten the hand that helped them please listen to what i'm telling you god is speaking to someone here that a man can rise so high that the scar of yesterday's pain can so erode from your life and your mind it will never look like you were there it will never look like you ever climbed a bike in your life it will it will never look like you soaked gary i know sometimes we are excellent people but sometimes we allow the deception of success to so swallow us that we lose the ability to forget i have learned as a personal principle that modesty is the closest way to remember when you live a life that is modest temperate the bible calls it that he that strives for mastery is temperate that means define boundaries it was a mistake solomon made he refused to be temperate by the time we get to ecclesiastes solomon was a man who was utterly lawless and careless see let me tell you this i believe in prosperity i believe in all the blessings of god but look at me believers there is only so much cloth you can wear there is only so much food you can eat are we together now this is all the stomach you have another one will not come from anywhere thank god for all the cars you will have you will not remove one leg and put it in one jeep and remove your head and put it in another car the way we approach success if not guided by these mysteries many people will fall by the wayside this is why you find out uh, respectfully speaking this is true for men of god is true for business people is true for politicians they begin to rise and when the whole world is watching suddenly they vanish out of thin air the mistake of her man 
and the wisdom of Mordecai are two lessons we must learn Mordecai rides on a horse the king's horse that honor is an honor that I don't think even the queen had and when Mordecai dropped he said thank you Haman he returned back to the king's gate that's where they found him was it not on your knees the anointing found you have you returned back <laughs> was it not in the place of fasting and prayer that grace met you was it not in the place of dedication where you will roll like this my dear brother that was rolling left and right i'm sure for some of you that was so embarrassing this guy is falling his hand so uh a deceptive approach to life tells us listen if you were lifted on your knees remain on your knees if you were lifted while singing his praise remain singing his praise it's very uncomfortable to remain on your knees when the world is watching you it's embarrassing you are not that naive you should stand so you can shine apostle joshua selman the man of god anointed but when you remember that if god forgets you anything can happen to you when god forgets you anything can happen it's a lesson we're still going to move on but i need you to get this listen i have shared this for years and told people be careful i have warned many people in my life and said if if you don't pay attention with the way you are managing success you will fall by the wayside it was not prophecy some of them thought it was nonsense nonsense and today sadly speaking many of them have gone down as if it was not god that lifted them do you know the higher you rise the more slippery the path is day can come when you will even be ashamed to roll before God why will I roll my designers on the ground in the presence of kings and in the presence of nobles this was the mistake that Saul's daughter made that made her remain barren when David it was time to take the ark David danced and danced and rejoiced like a fool and the daughter of Saul said, King, you are no longer a shepherd. You are carrying a stupid bush mindset. You want to embarrass yourself. You are no longer, a, you are a king. Act like royalty. And he said, I'm dancing before God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me. And the Bible says, God had that conversation. When God had that conversation, no matter what would have happened, she wouldn't have given birth. Because an indignation rose i continue to tell god i say lord i remain your boy huh i am other people's father i am other people's mentor i am other people's role model thank god for that but i remain your boy you will always meet me where you found me adam where are you i heard thy voice but i hid it because I was naked he said her man let's continue sit please her man hasted to his house mourning crying and having his head covered next verse and her man told Zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him and said his wise men and Zeret listen then said his wise men and Zeresh his wife unto him if Mordecai be the seed of the Jews before whom thou hast begun to fall thou shall not prevail against him but shall surely fall before him that means this mistake you have made Mordecai is the seed of the Jews there are commandments that have been given the Jews to not forget if Mordecai is a true Jew 
and will remember those ordinances you are finished because the factors that should make him fall and give way will not happen again your doom is true look at this Mordecai once at the gate now I, I want to save us time because you read later on you find out that her man was hung at the gallows all kinds of things began to happen in his life culminated by Esther's declaring to the king that this man wanted to destroy her people and the king went to his garden to think like any wise leader would do to not be hasty in speech and then he came and knelt down and was begging her and when the king came it looked like he was trying to rape the wife and the king said not only have you annoyed me you are now trying to rape my wife go and hang this guy the gallows was there waiting for them and they hung him there and that was the end of it and then eventually Mordecai was honored to take the place of Haman in the palace and that ends the story of Esther listen carefully there are two women only in scripture whose names became the books of the Bible and their names were written there so that we will remember what they did the two names Ruth and Esther were put in the Bible the two women did the same thing notice that in all cases it had to do with men it had to do with marriage and it had to do with the power of submission the power of loyalty the power of not trivializing the things that God can do and the remembrance that follows Ruth remembered her mother-in-law and said I'm not leaving you your God will be my God your people will be my people and because she stayed and remembered how this woman was nice to her as a mother-in-law she led her and advised her to a field of a wealthy man called Boaz are we together now yes and Boaz saw her and loved her and took her I hope it is very interesting because for Esther she had never married but for Ruth she lost her husband and now an opportunity was coming again remembrance the book of remembrance that archives the works of the saints and that there is a reward system attached to it and that once you can invoke the mystery that will make God remember now take note he's not remembering because he's forgotten he's remembering because it is part of the ordinances of heaven for administering justice remembrance let me show you a scripture I found that really really changed my life and then I'll give you two keys and we'll pray never forget this scripture for the rest of your life Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14 please read with me everyone is projected if you can see Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14 one to read remember me oh my God concerning this stop 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 that means you can take any matter to God and provoke remembrance concerning this you can put your this there concerning my finances concerning my family situation concerning my joblessness concerning the tragedy happening you can go before God and say remember me oh my God concerning this and wipe not my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof when the Lord showed me this scripture I remember crying like a baby I said this is powerful Lord do not wipe these good deeds with all humility you can go before God Lord I have served Lord I am a faithful worker I stand before God it is true that I clean the seats Lord I stand before you that you can go concerning this this is how to petition the parliament of heaven remember concerning this and 
all that I have done, do not wipe it out for the house of the Lord and for the offices thereof. So God remembers. And every time God remembers, God acts. Please look at me. My dad is such an amazing man. Quite a very, very amazing man. One thing I learned from my dad that I thank God for, he's still alive. I truly thank God for is that my dad was an extremely grateful man my dad paid attention i saw this growing up if you did something striking my dad would make a big deal out of it and will continue to raise a memorial over that act one time they were traveling to the village and it was in the night i don't know what took them there it was really late and the car broke down i think it was raining and there was they asked around and there was a mechanic now they were more than halfway the journey almost in the middle of nowhere and the mechanic was brought and he had to look at the car and the mechanic not only looked at the car i think i hope i'm right he followed them right to the village so that if anything happened he would be there do you know from that time until i left home every time my dad were traveling he would buy potato or buy something and stop at that house and say where is this man this was even it was it was more than 10 years down the line he was still doing it remembrance remembrance there are people today who are not supposed to be sitting with kings but are sitting because the kings remember their fathers remember their mothers you said you are the son of who that man let me tell you a little story in 1961 i was a young boy from the village with a torn trouser when your father gave me a cup of water the cup of water that was worth 10 naira is now what a great destiny because of remembrance when god remembers you you are lifted when men remember you you are lifted you need the book of remembrance to be open. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? You wait. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know? Let me tell you in my personal walk with God, there are things that God has done in my life, even to this day, He continues to do them. And most times when i go before him to say thank you he will remind me of a particular kingdom not necessarily a sacrifice he will tell me that this that happened do you know there are families before i finish my story there are families that will never go down do you know why because they didn't have all the money but they left a little room for missionaries they left a little space and every man of God will come. You would think the people are in ministry. Their job is to cook. And you would think those things will be forgotten. But there is a book in the heavenlies. Where these things are recorded. And you will see the child will come many years later. Sometimes the child may not even be serious with God. But for that covenant of remembrance. God will come and visit the children. Remembrance. I once watched the documentary of Fiji Island. The revival that happened in fiji island and it was said that the missionaries the early missionaries who got there that the people oppressed them and killed them or butchered them or did something very tragic and then they died the moment they died is a documentary i think you can find it somewhere the fish in the sea stopped producing fish the land stopped producing at its maximum it wasn't even producing the nation literally plunged to depression until some intercessors began to pray they began to pray and to pray and to pray and then the lord revealed to them that there is an indignation that is rising over that territory and that they needed to plead the blood it would take the blood 
of the eternal covenant to solve this problem and then they had time to pray repent on behalf of the nation and then in addition fortunately they found the grandchildren of the missionaries that they had killed the grandchildren and they invited them to fiji island and they performed a ceremony officially apologizing loving them and they prayed and blessed the land just like child's play within a short time i don't know what time frame exactly strangely they saw fish in the sea and species of fish that they had not seen the first crusade that we had as a ministry the first crusade it was in plateau state I remember one of the the people who was guiding us the tour guide he took us to the graves of the missionaries and showed us the missionaries that were killed when they brought the gospel to that land and showed us the missionaries and showed us everything and that from that time that they killed the people all kinds of things had been happening in the land and I remember standing there to pray and we said Lord the Lord is gracious and compassionate, the Bible says. He's slow to anger and rich in love. We stood there and said, we are also missionaries. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand by the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of any Abel there. And to speak and say in the name of Jesus that the land be released. I tell the truth and I lie not. We were somewhere standing and we were watching a hill. And all of a sudden, physical dark shadow. Like everybody, you could record it. We just began to see it slowly moving out of the land it took almost 45 minutes so it was not something you would rush like that just moving corporately out of the land where i schooled secondary school there used to be a tree the tree i'm not exaggerating the tree was dried but all the leaves were on it they tied ropes around the tree and you would ask and they would tell you there was a story that the tree was cursed there was a story that happened around there cursed as a memorial over the land why would god tell the nation of israel raise a memorial in this place and teach your children that means they should not forget if they ask you why do you do this teach them that this is why we do this so that you will know this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate keep it keep it my son he says pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings he says do not let them depart depart from your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are alive to those who find them and health to their flesh as a man i've had people in my life who i almost cannot reject helping and lifting because they the the power of remembrance they will always remember and make reference and say apostle thank you you did so 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 and so to me you did so 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 and so to my family and they remind me of god and i'm compelled every time even when they don't ask me anything it's like their remembrance of that is is a debt that that i must pay i am moved to wanting to help them again many have forgotten like haman i want to employ the wisdom of mordecai that you never forget where he brought you from are we together that there is remembrance now let me teach you before we pray very quickly two keys two keys that open the book of remembrance over a man there are two scriptures that will reveal these keys and then we'll pray blessed be the name of the lord galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 this is the first key that you will need to open the book of remembrance over yourself over your family over your territory let's read together one two go and let us not be weary in well-doing uh-huh for in due season we shall reap if we faint not watch this the first key 
that opens the book of remembrance is consistency of your well-doing regardless of reward regardless of who sees you regardless of whatever commendation comes or does not come consistency weariness is something that can catch up with you when your value is not being appreciated when your impute is not being noticed are we together now we're humans and if you continue to strive to contribute in the life of a man a ministry an organization a system and it looks like you are not noticed and you are not rewarded the side effect is weariness and the bible says let us not be weary that means that your reward is tied to your consistency this country is full of stories of people who deserve to be rewarded politically spiritually are we together financially in business in ministry but for many years they had all kinds of hamans around their lives around their offices yet the people continue to be steadfast many of our loved ones have situations where they were qualified to be the ones sitting at certain positions but manipulations happen and yet they continued being consistent the bible says if you are consistent if you are steadfast if you are unbending in well-doing the bible gives you a guarantee that a season according to the law of times and seasons the law of time and chance because it happened to them all the bible says one day like the hand of a clock it must come to your turn and you must find expression this is true this is true I met a precious lady yesterday one one dear lady I used to know her that should be 2004 2005 in the campus here she used to sing in one of the fellowships wonderful lady she would sing her heart out dance and celebrate God everyone wanted to attend the fellowship just because I mean the lady would lead worship with all she was always smiling always happy and then I had the opportunity to see her yesterday and I saw her she was happy now a mother of many children and I looked at her and then she brought me her album and said apostle I remember those days and I said oh dear who told you God does not remember who told you God forgets the sacrifices of the Saints there are things you are doing today you are already securing tomorrow with it a day will come you will watch the video of this level of koinonia and tears will come out of your eyes you say that was me cleaning the chairs that was me playing the keyboard and someone stands to say you are not supposed to be where you are and god says well, it's too late your consistency imagine if mordecai got tired and said look i'm tired of bailing the king out and then her man would be receiving the glory mordecai was consistent even when he rode upon the king's back he returned to stay where he was found everybody say consistency listen this is an encouragement to someone right now the worship team got it powerfully what's that song again you are not turning back where's those in not turning back and not going just sing that part for me i'm gonna wait on you jesus I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. Yeah, that's the song. I'm gonna I'm wait. I'm not turning back now. 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 One more time. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 And I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning. Listen, let me teach you something. Impatience 
will always give birth to what will fight your promise you must sustain the stamina to stay let god meet you where he last instructed you lord i will continue Kai. another woman who showed us the power of waiting was anna the prophetess the bible says for about 60 years from the time she lost her husband listen carefully for about 60 years she was in the temple do you know what it means to pray without results for 60 years abraham did it for 25 years hey my soul wait thou upon the lord there is power in waiting there is power in staying there is power in remaining i keep sowing i don't see the heavens open but i will continue sowing i keep speaking i may not see the result but i will never stop speaking i will keep serving i may not see the result but i will keep serving i will hold on to the word men may mock me they may call you stupid you are wasting your time where is the consolation when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they testified among the hidden that the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the naked the bible says they that sow in tears listen koinonia it is possible to sow in tears and the bible says in due season john remained in the wilderness until he season of appearing hear me listen to me you must conquer the pressure that men will bring to you they will push you into seasons that are not yet god's design they will push you into things that are not yet god's design mordecai can you remain in the palace can you stay at the gates mordecai looked at her man and knew that her man was occupying his position but the battle is the lord's he remained at the gate if her man tried to fight mordecai mordecai would kill him because mordecai her man was the king's friend can i tell you this my brothers and my sisters it will not always look like this let me speak to you it will not always be that you will go home every night and wonder what do i eat no no the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen man of god it will not always be that you go to a meeting and the power of god will not be there no you you are in a season stay stay i'm prophesying to you you are in a season build stamina and stay a day will come when the glory of god will mantle you stay while you learn jesus you are savior not at its 12 you are savior not at age 18 jesus you are savior not at 30 you are only savior at 33 the 18 year old jesus would not save the world joseph you are a deliverer but not in the pit please listen to what i teach you tonight these are secrets of the kingdom my soul wait so the first key that causes the book of remembrance to be open the book of remembrance in heaven and the book of remembrance before men is consistency keep praying you look like a fool but keep praying bros you are still here five years you are not making progress your colleagues have started ministry stay there stay there stay there stay there while you pray listen let me tell you one of the most powerful virtues of the spirit is self-control many of the gifts of the spirit are tied to it why should i keep quiet when i can prophesy why should i not talk when i can preach there are people in this ministry that I love so much. 
scattered in and around they are mighty men in the spirit in ministry some of them are mighty business people in this ministry multi-millionaires you will never see any pressure to be known any pressure to be seen they come and sit down they serve god they worship god yet they are mighty prophets they are mighty apostles let me tell you something when you see a man that has self-control respect such a man it is powerful to have what to say and keep quiet it is powerful to know what to do and still remain it is powerful to see a door that is open and yet not move if the door is closed it's not a proof of your stamina the door is closed but can you stand before an open door and yet not move hallelujah this is very powerful i've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people in my life and sometimes when people want to tell me who and who i'm going to meet they'll say ah, apostle this man is a great man or maybe he's an influential man politically or is a great man financially or spiritually and apostle ah these people have this and that and i stand before the lord god of heaven and i lie not i have never been under pressure to tell anybody sorry sir can you help me and buy a recharge card uh I, there is a ministry called koinonia if the ministry is blessing you can you send 10 naira no no consistency god is ministering to someone now because you see let me tell you this there are many of you that coming to koinonia is even an embarrassment to you because by the time you come they look at you and say for five years no car no nothing the only thing you do is to pray like a fool the only thing you do is to loiter around and sometimes you can feel stupid for being consistent i give you a scripture you are already opening a door stay there till the door opens you see the thing about god is that five minutes to your lifting it will still not be like it five minutes to your rising joseph you are still in the prison while the person has left the palace and is coming to you already you are not seeing him Oh Israel, when God is already winning the battle, you don't have to fight, but you are not seeing. Just believe in what Jehoshaphat is saying. Hallelujah. Consistency. I will pray as before. I will fast as before. I will worship as before listen never be ashamed of your today you will miss it tomorrow receive the grace and the stamina to stay let people laugh at you let people mock you especially for our dear ladies because society has all kinds of pressures on ladies show us your husband is he a rich man show us this show us that have you traveled to um, um, um asia america london uk and you stand there feeling stupid for loving the lord let us not be weary in well-doing there are preachers that need to stay lord what should i do now should i start a church or should i stay and god says just keep doing what you are doing in due season we shall reap can i tell you this the season of reward for a man's life is a fearful dimension of that man's life for reasons you cannot tell and explain you will see that god will command the territory to begin to sing your songs and to speak your purposes david was going to be king but for a very long time he was in the wilderness he killed a lion but remained in the wilderness he killed a bear if that news got to saul they would have called him to serve in the palace but he would never be king sometimes don't be quick to announce your achievements let god and time reveal it just come kill the bear but remain quiet in the wilderness this itch to talk sometimes is proof of weakness you sabotage where you are going did the bible not already tell you that you cannot light a lamp and hide it under a bushel waiting is very hard it's proof of spiritual maturity to wait until seasons come hallelujah i've shared with you my story for many years in this ministry god would not allow me buy a car 
even when koinonia was on crowds of people here i would climb a bike and come for koinonia you would think i were a stupid person it was not lack of finances just like that lord why do you want to humiliate me i love you so much why won't you leave me to buy a car then people started bringing cars to give me and god would tell me to just bless them and let them go if i were your relative would you clap for me for that kind of brain you would just be careful what you call common sense it has destroyed many people the way of the spirit is very strange i will never forget one time a man came to sit in front of me and said this is what god gave him he was going to bring me car keys and he carried the keys of the car and i was already smiling when he came again mm -mm. He said this man has not discussed with his wife his wife would join the people who would talk about you and say you have manipulated the husband i appreciated the man prayed for him with all my heart and told him to carry the car and go you see that will i ever have a need of a car today no never ever forever listen waiting pays when God wants to pay you, he will backdate it. Press down, shaken together to make room for more. Fill it till it runs over. Sustain the stamina to wait. Shut your mouth and your ears against the things that people say and all the rubbish and the nonsense that you will hear people say. You are on your way to a dimension of grace he's training you he's teaching you listen you can stay with god you are lifting people out of the wheelchair and god will tell you not to honor one invitation sit down lord as what be a brother in welfare not even prayer band not even any place lord at least let me go to prayer department he says welfare is where i need you but lord are you aware i'm a prophet and you, I will be a prophet to the nations. He will say, cook. Let me teach you how to feed men. And you are there turning food. And somebody says, do you ever have the ambition of being a chef? And you almost want to, want to slap the person. And say, are you, do I look like a chef? And God says, turn it. I teach you how to overturn. carry that cooler on your head and you are marching and someone says, ah, emoji was it not you that was in our house yesterday he said this you mean i thought you were a pastor say no i work in the welfare department what kind of church is this is it that they don't see men of god in this church and you feel stupid you drop that cooler and say no god this this lady i she 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 saw me prophesy and god says carry that cooler because it is while you are carrying that cooler you are qualifying yourself a day will come you will be able to carry any luggage and not be ashamed because you learned how to carry something embarrassing hallelujah i always tell people jokingly i didn't start ministry preaching let me tell you you've heard my story i started ministry playing keyboard for a reverend who were part of the, the it was a prison ministry they were part of the people who preached later on to general obasanjo when he was in prison they used to allow the mission agencies to go and preach they preached to him i used to play keyboard for them i had my local church and then later on he started a church when he started a church it was quite a distance from where i would live i would carry my own keyboard by myself this was 93 94 i will carry keyboard by myself and trek to the international hotel where he was using and drop it there i will play that keyboard they will finish share the grace i will carry it and trek back with joy the only thing i ever got throughout my time of serving in that ministry was one cassette and one bottle of fanta when they were dedicating his album i would have been offended and I would have been angry and say, you don't know who I am. The proof of sonship is servanthood. If you can serve, you are a son indeed. 
let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus though he is God he considered it not robbery he came and humbled himself died even the death on the cross wherefore on the strength of that do you know that Jesus was almost giving up at Gethsemane as a man if it's possible let this cup pass over me I said nevertheless not my will but yours be done so this is the first key someone say I will continue better is the end of a thing the Bible says than the beginning thereof it is not enough to start you must trust God for grace and listen my brothers and my sisters I admit to you that it is painful your humanity will catch up with you while you wait yes as a gentleman they will look at you and say I used to know you in 2000 you mean you are still here how much is this shoe you are buying which church did you say you are serving say now I've been promoted I'm a deacon he said deacon deacon indeed your useless life looking like your yesterday you have not changed and you stand there feeling stupid for serving God and God says continue I almost gave up Sam and like I just couldn't take light anymore this is an encouragement for someone my, my problems have me bound depression weighed me down but God kept me so I wouldn't let go God's mercy kept me so I won't let go God can keep he can give strength to the faint whatever you have to do keep moving even if you cry cry but keep moving even if you feel discouraged keep moving insist that I will never stop if God has not stopped on me then I will not stop on myself I know he's called me to be a worshiper to the nations my first song they forgot it in two days you may be saying some of you put your songs online after three months only two people liked it no problem just continue some of you put your sermons online and you had only four comments and all of them were criticizing you go back to Bible school someone wrote nonsense another person said look false prophet and he just said I will never go online again I will never preach this thing again no Reinhard Bonke said the first time he used to escort a man for crusade and that day the man told him God said he would not come back again Reinhard Bonke would be the person to preach and Reinhard Bonke said he was shaking he was saying Lord is this how you have chosen to embarrass me and he stood and began to preach and he began to minister to the sick and people started shouting blind eyes I can see deaf ears I can hear people were rising out of wheelchair please continue receive the grace to continue receive the grace to keep praying receive the grace to keep speaking hallelujah someone can come to your family and say Kai this is your family you will never change you people are just like this keep declaring with my eyes will I see the salvation of the Lord surely there is an end my tomorrow is better than my today I will one day be called Beulah and Hephzibah I am the planting of the Lord a well watered garden thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place the Lord is my light and salvation of whom shall I be afraid he won't stop he won't stop till my life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till I look just like him I won't stop I won't stop till I look just like him I won't stop I won't stop 
please sit down key number two and then we'll pray the first key that can cause remembrance towards you before God and before men is to not be weary in well-doing continue rewarded or not continue commended or not continue understood or not continue number two Isaiah 43 verse 26 thank you Jesus Isaiah 43 and verse 26 want to read koinonia put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou that thou mayest be justified god is speaking put me lift up a cry from the earth to heaven and say lord remember put me in remembrance put me in remembrance are you ready for one powerful scripture you should add to your library if there are five scriptures in your library let this be there ah i found this scripture day before yesterday i was meditating it fired like an arrow from my head to my feet i blasted in tongues i said that's right you see the bible said the kingdom of god is like a man who lost his treasure and you find candle and broom you sweep it when you find that you rejoice numbers chapter 10 verse 9 numbers 10 verse 9 look up koinonia and read it with faith in your heart ready one to read and if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you then shall ye blow an alarm with the trumpets and ye shall be remembered before the lord your god and ye shall be saved from your enemy i now know what they did in before jericho that when you stand and your enemies overwhelm you lift up the trumpet is the power of praise lift up that trumpet the word is yada praise lifted with understanding that when you see that you are encompassed by enemies and there is no way for victory when you pray in addition to that prayer put god in remembrance then don't disturb him again lift up your trumpet and begin to blast it like the priest that you are go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet and the bible says that sound that shofar will come before God as a memorial this is scripture see let God be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah please take it higher for me look at this scripture it says you shall be remembered before the Lord when you lift up your trumpet I just saw a trumpet this is what I saw in the spirit like a sound a shofar Masoina <laughs>
One more time, sir. I will never fall. I will never fall. I will never fall. Let the people praise him. It says, Then shall the earth yield forth her increase. So the earth can yield when you stand before a barren land. It says, put me in remembrance. Then when you are done praying, all Paul and Silas, after you pray, sing. And let the mighty one that sits upon the throne come and rent the heavens. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it like the ark of Noah, and they are saved. Listen, the Bible says, though the olive may not produce, they may not be fixed on the vine. He said, yet, yet I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. My Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It says, though weeping and joys for a night, Koinonia, hear me, joy comes with the morning. Listen, there is one thing I know about God that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what the Lord has in store for them that love him. But the Bible says he has revealed them that when I praise him, when I lift up a cry and say, Lord, remember me concerning this. When I'm done saying it, I begin to sing and dance like a madman and sing my way to another level and dance my way to another dimension. It does not make sense. He said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Do not trivialize what you have heard. Do not trivialize this deep mystery. Your destiny helper has a book of remembrance. Men have books of remembrance. Listen, there are things you have done for the kingdom. Some of you have served God. Some of you have prayed. Some of you have helped men. Some of you, your parents lifted people and everybody has forgotten about you. Let me tell you what to do when there are men in your life who can help you and they forget about you. Don't go knocking their offices. You are, you are doing it the wrong way. Go to the God of all flesh, the father of spirits. Raise a cry before him. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I bring before you this petition. I am a member of welfare department. I am a member of prayer band. I'm a member of worship team. Let God be true. He says to lift up that incense and then begin to sing. Can you open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues? Pray in the spirit. Koinonia, pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. 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 Pray.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look at me. Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Please media help us quickly. Esther chapter 6 and verse 1. And on that night could not the king sleep. The same way Nebuchadnezzar or Darius could not sleep because the three Hebrew boys, Daniel, was in the lion's den. Listen, I'd like you to pray in tongues for the next one minute. And listen, this should be your focus when you pray. Father, wake everyone sleeping who should be awake to remember me. Lift your voice and pray in the spirit. On that night, then could not the hallelujah hallelujah so number one the king had to wake up number two he commanded to bring the book of remembrance you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus say father i stand by the blood and in the name of jesus and i declare tonight let the book of remembrance in heaven and on earth concerning me concerning my reward let it be open now lift your voice and pray <laughs> Hallelujah. Please look up. Look up. Listen. The first time the Spirit of the Lord opened the book of Esther for me. The book of Esther as a book 
containing a mystery of favor was opened to me it was a february of that year the entire month i prayed favor i prayed favor into my life i believed it with all my heart because i found it there that books can be opened hallelujah now listen favor is real please hear me don't sit down and waste your time and hate god for nothing favor is very very real hallelujah all blessings come from god through men to you from god through men to you when the book is opened in heaven the spirit opens the book and the bride also opens the book on earth it is the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come listen it is not difficult when the book is opened ahazeros said what should be done to a man who the king chooses to honor is a choice it's a choice god can choose to honor you jacob have i loved esau have i hated there is nothing that can be done when god's jealousy has been invested upon you listen to me believers in christ we are people who are beloved do you know what it means to be loved that means god has made himself vulnerable to you beloved i have loved thee with an everlasting love he said and i have drawn you with my loving kindness but that the book of remembrance be opened i have seen these books opened even for me i've sat down quietly and suddenly god brings to my mind the names of people not word of knowledge not word of knowledge god does not just tell me their names god connects something they had done to my life and i suddenly become indebted to them i just remember A woman had done something for me years ago very trivial thing i think it was towards the end of last year it just became a burden in my heart for no reason clear the school fees of the children help them with whatever you can do it was a burden the woman never she was not even in contact with me i didn't even have her details and i had to look for someone i said please can you help me access so 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 and so say yes i said please let me have our details and suddenly i looked at it and i said okay no problem madam can i help you this is what the lord is putting in my heart the woman said this is an answered prayer i've been crying i'm a widow i'm a widow see let me tell you don't go around harassing people to help you that's not the way it works everything works in the realm of the spirit stay and pray and declare and declare and sing and declare that the heavens open up its book that the seven seals be broken that it be opened weep not for the book is opened when the book is opened that remembrance suddenly someone will call you and say ah, i forgot you remember what happened to the butler i remember my wrong this day have you not blessed people in your life did you not win souls in your life have you not served the purposes of the kingdom hear me believers don't be ashamed of your service it is a memorial that can rise before god hezekiah turned his face to the wall and hezekiah cried and said remember oh god do not forget bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits lord you have said if i obey and i serve you i will spend my years in prosperity my days in joy you have said it and i serve you with all my heart let the blessings that follow service follow me it's a petition you are placing a demand like mordecai the bible does not record it but i believe that whilst mordecai sat at the gate he continued to speak and call upon the god of the hebrews avenge me my adversary her man is in the palace causing mayhem to me and to the people of the lord arise in your mercy listen there are things 
that can happen between you and God on account of your service that when the enemy raises an assault against your family against your life you can stand up with a counter petition Lord remember remember when God is jealous towards you it has happened it has happened I'm telling you what I do myself and I'm sharing with you these secrets Koinonia let me tell you this is October but if you believe the things I'm saying and the books are opened you will be surprised at the unending you will come and testify here that someone who forgot you remembered you and said sorry is your father still alive is your ah. when Joseph met with um, Benjamin and all the other brothers he asked them a question he said is your father still alive is everything well with you is this well with you fetch them and bring them to Egypt they brought them they settled at Goshen and they were prosperous until Joseph died and Joseph said when you go out of Egypt carry my bones carry this principle carry this pattern with you don't lose it this is the structure it's an ordinance carry it together hallelujah there are things that God has done for others for the sake of others there are things that God does for the saints for the sake of Jesus there are things that can happen to Mephibosheth because he's connected to the house of Saul please hear me believers we're rounding up I truly want your life to experience the reality of God's grace I want you to touch these mysteries to experience them in a way and a manner that makes you exceptionally fruitful remember the Lord told us at the beginning of this year that I will make you exceeding fruitful he said it he said it and I believed him it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and now I show you the mystery of remembrance that a book can be opened you can call upon the God of heaven and say Lord remember 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 my father was a missionary you can tell God he's gone to be with the Lord but remember he served you even at the point of death Lord this is not how you reward them that serve you suddenly the book is open and God says let me come and invest my favor upon this family for the sake of the sacrifice it is not always about what you have done personally you can take advantage of every good thing philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ you can take advantage of every good thing lord i'm in the worship team come i sing i sing i stand before your people and i sing lord when apostle is preaching i'm also standing sometimes i am tired but i'm standing remember oh god your service and the heavens open towards you and god comes to you son what should i do and you say oh god bless me give me wisdom give me favor and he opens up your heavens do not waste your yesterday many of you made good use of it use it as a memorial let it rise to heaven speak to him concerning every matter don't forget what i taught you don't forget the scripture that i taught you that you stand before god and say remember concerning this issue remember you can confront him concerning any issue bring your strong reason lord let the plague of death end in this family why should the plague of death end lord even if everybody served idols i stand as a preach i stand as a priest i have called upon the name of the lord and adam knew his wife again and she bore seth and men began to call upon the name of the lord I stand as a preach in my family. Continue to insist 
until your life reflects Christ. This is, this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit. Your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see. Insistence. Lord, it is not your will for this family to be in poverty, begging from hand to mouth, anointed but begging, anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody say supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly really is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking, can God change my life in one day? Can God change my life in two days? Can God turn my family before November? God? Are we together? Are you guys done? Have you fixed it? It's not working. Okay, so please... Let's work on it as fast as we can. Make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live as at the time you are speaking there's no food even at home now to eat don't worry stand in faith don't fake anything there's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real you've heard me say there is no point faking anointing there is no point faking power in ministry you can stand and say lord as it is right now my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is but lord let something from heaven come upon my church and i stand in faith and i believe with you everybody you pray for is not healed everybody you speak over is not changed but no problem you stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future everybody looks like the past stand in faith i refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years say all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish you have to give god something the five loaves will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious i live in the consciousness of the jealousy of god over my life it's true 
I have loved thee with an everlasting love, and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's not just scripture to me, it is life. It is God revealing his intent to me. This ministry will never go down. It will continue to be from glory to glory. It is true. No, 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 no. I, I'm being as honest and modest with you as, as possible. Because retrogression has an explanation. You can explain why things deplete. You can explain why things retrogress. And you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens. Hallelujah. You are here tonight in this place. In the presence of God. You are here tonight. Many of you have traveled from several nations. Some of you have traveled from different places to come. Please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. The first miracle that God is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil. We call all kinds of nonsense, Hakanea la Shiria. Does it look like God? If you were God, is that how you will walk? Are we together now? You must insist and say, no, this is not the character of God. This is not the best of God. God cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth. And the only employed person in that family is earning 15,000. God is not wicked. Something is wrong. The moment you call darkness, darkness, then light can fight it. When it has to do with dealing with issues, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to stand on God's side. Are we together? So a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of God's power to find expression. Some of you are here trusting God to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all. But do you believe? Do you agree with God? Apostle, I'm SS. This thing will never change. It will be unto you according to your faith. Apostle, I know I'm just here. No problem. They will lay hands on me. But that, that persuasion is not yet there. Apostle, I believe God will prosper me. But in your mind, you are looking at that class. You are looking at um, the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year. And you say it has finished. No. Apostle, there have been too much delay in my life. By now, I should be at this level, at this level. But restoration is possible. Let your mind open that door. See, when you know who God is, you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life. Because the Bible says, for we know. The rest don't know. But we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by God in Christ. We know that in a believer's life, there is nothing that is really a disadvantage. It's true. If you were employed as a graduate in 2000, by now you most likely, with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness, you probably would be a director by now. Are we together? Yes. And now you've not even gotten a job. So if you get a job now, most likely you are over age already. They will not employ you. And so you can sit down and say, this thing said, I'm dead. Is finished is over because you have given God you have told God how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move God if it's must you move this way and God says I want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say Lord I'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but El Shaddai where are you answer my family That is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream. Someone will call you and say, the Lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family. You say, please tell EFCC before you talk to me. Let, let's just be sure you are genuine. And they say, God instructed me and I'm obedient. Then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie. Pain can make you think everyone is lying. Did God really step in like that? Did God really anoint you like that? hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible 
you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they're working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and god can lead you to an uncommon mentorship an uncommon anointing in six months you will receive a grace that is 15 years old <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> jacob collected esau's birthright he didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this but jacob collected Esau. it only played out using women but it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god 
and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the 
biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy yeah. if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen 
there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, Shamana Katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence. Of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay i speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life it's not enough to rebuke delay you must obtain the grace for speed and watch this I'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people 
as usual you find people running by the spirit but i need to release that anointing father i stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year i declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed parush kabarakata speed career speed i give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed hello madonna hallelujah mommy please look at me ma don't be embarrassed i don't know you but i'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family where are you coming from madam madam i'm looking at you i'm seeing river state where are you from states. Huh? states river state yes sir the lord says i should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please i'm looking at the lord in the spirit i'm putting my hand inside a river and i'm bringing something out and the lord says the destiny of this family in the name of jesus that's the daughter i command by the spirit every planting that is not of the lord i overturn and i uproot now in the name of jesus christ who is naomi i'm hearing a name naomi we have to hurry up i want to pray for the sick naomi Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is breached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. 
now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State Kogi State I'm praying now it's a sign and wonder every time I see that if you are from that locality the power of God comes on you immediately in the name of Jesus I command witchcraft associated with that territory even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to many. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady, the power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are but in Jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in 
the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the Spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do madam, what do you do I'm a commissioner for human rights commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi yes. in in two weeks I'm going to be in your nation I would like to see you Amen. your nation there is a reason why I'm talking I'm not seeing you alone I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for yes. but I want to pray for you madam because I don't know if you believe it or not you have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in Kenya and God by his spirit is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life you are a woman that love God there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build I'm seeing foodstuff and I'm seeing different things first it will have to do with young girls people who have been abused and so on but I see not only that I see women too women God is going to increase your influence I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit carry this grace go to Kenya with it go and excel I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go with this anointing go and prosper may the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise the Lord an angel of the Lord is standing here someone will shout here under a strong anointing I just saw that grace I don't know first I think until the shout happens I know why God just from here right to the back there is an anointing I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here now listen whether you know it or not if there is anything influencing yours your destiny that is not of the Christ is about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it. And they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three be free now be free now be free now please bring them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online I declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring 
them out. Paru salikata, embrekete dekete barata. Operations of darkness. I'm seeing a womb, like the drawing of a woman's womb, and I'm seeing it close. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness. It means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Everyone's destiny that has been closed. So that it will not find manifestation. At the count of three. Let it be open. One. Two. Three. Be open now. 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 finances listen to me please I want you to believe it there is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people I'm not asking you what you are doing I'm not asking you what you know I'm telling you what God is doing I stand by the God of heaven and I declare father the men and women that must enter into this dimension as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supply from heaven. Supply by the Spirit. Let things work in a way that will surprise you. I command things to work in a 
way that will cover you. Mighty God. A few minutes, we are going to pray for the sick now. Now, please listen. I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one. That's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining. It's just a revelation that God is giving me. There are two angels standing by my left and my right. And every time I see this, God wants me to move. Listen, hear me. Except God is not God. When I pass any road where you are, anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life, it must give way. Now, I only do this for this and overflow one. Afterwards, we are going to pray for the sick. Please, I want you to just believe. I don't know why God does these things. But I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, glorify yourself. Change everything that needs to be changed. Many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions. I want you to believe it. I will pray not everywhere, but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit. Hali Shalatos, Pragados, Krekete Barakushla. I shift you in the Spirit. Every limitation that does not name the name of Christ. I'm praying mantles, anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now. Let that presence of God shift you to dimension. In the name of Jesus. Dimension. I'm seeing a chain around here. I break that chain now. I'm seeing a chain around here. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now by the Spirit of the Living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. sensing an evil spirit just around here. I come against you now. I take authority over that influence. You must go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Overflow one, lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Harusa Sigedesh. Now listen. Be your brother's keeper. You don't have to touch me. Please, be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself. But as I pass here, anything that is not of God is about to give way right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. All times, I come against you now. In Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. 
right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if, in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from, are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku, A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Right here. There is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming on people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimension, new dimensions. I've seen an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. On. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim. May the power of God touch you. And perfect you now. And perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. 
where you have a church you are under a church mm. a time will come God will give you your own work now God is preparing you be faithful you will go but now is not the time you live now you will suffer for nothing are you hearing what I'm saying don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God but surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing father I lay my hands upon this man let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of Jesus not only an impartation a dealing that produces real power in the spirit in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ this lady with green this lady you come the Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you two things will happen to you number one I'm seeing restoration God is saying I should tell you he's bringing restoration number two I'm seeing the gift of men please do listen to my message help them on the gift of men God is bringing people strangely to lift you I lay my hands upon you and I pray may this grace be effectual carry that grace right now and you will start having visions visions God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions in the name of Jesus this is very strange what I'm seeing except that I saw it I will not say it stop running away from the call you are a man of God's wife now I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense stop running from the call you are the wife of a man of God a minister of the gospel the Lord will bring performance to his word this thing I tell you is a strange mystery the way God works but in the name of Jesus I place the word of God upon that prophecy it's time for you to not fight the will of God it's time for you to relinquish your own will in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord we are going to pray just one prayer point the Lord is asking me immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses I don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer huh is this your mother where are you coming from madam okay you are the reverse woman this lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy because I'm seeing you a lawyer and you are going to you I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people this is a lot of business people signing contracts helping people to process a lot of things millions huh? that's what that's where she is right now doing some things abroad she's what well, that's what she's doing right now where she works that's what she's doing now right now where she works because i'm seeing god will just cause them to like her it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes sir. and i pray for your daughter and i connect her by the spirit amen in the name of jesus amen. she will find these people amen. and in the name of jesus she will shift her to another dimension amen mama god is saying i should tell you forgive does it make sense to you? That's my husband also. He's a lawyer. But Your husband is a lawyer? Yes. But... What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your... It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles. Because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and God has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and 
most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate. However, you see, forgiveness is a type of giving. Understand this. Forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive. The only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance. Are we together? The highest form of forgiveness is tolerance. Where you know it will happen again. And you build a system around it to not hurt you. We live in a society that is so hot conscious. This one hurt me. This one did this. There are too many things that can create offense. The Bible says in nothing should you be offended. It's a choice. Mama, in the name of Jesus, please don't cry. I don't know what it is and why you are crying. But my dear, comfort your mother after the prayer. Eh? In the name of Jesus, what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain. And in the name of Jesus, forgive. In the name of Jesus, forgive. I also pray for someone here. Do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages. It can last for 10 years, 20 years, same room, same bed, but that bitterness, especially for the men. We don't know that this might be the secret. The Bible says for dishonoring your wife, the consequence is that your heavens will be closed. It's not a lie. That's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that God will do in the life of this man. Let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the Lord. I decree it and I establish it in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. We are going to pray goodness. You see how time just runs. There is a gentleman here. You are a member of Mountain of Fire. Where are you? Mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano how about yes, you Calabar. mfm calabar how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that they are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i am going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a quiet bomb state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your desk yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes huh? sir you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting yes, huh? yes, sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you yes, i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself. You need a lot of mentorship, but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. This brother you see is very serious with God. Huh? Very serious with God. You just need the right support, impartations, and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life. Hold my hand. Father, what's your name? Huh? Anthony. Tony, in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader dr daniel odikoya and i decree in the name of jesus be free now i decree by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh. I'm not saying 
jobs, I'm not unemployment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Service. The Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. Prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. It's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Amen. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone in the name of Jesus become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace in the name of Jesus. I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing... You know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry? Before they remove that thing from her face. This is what I'm seeing. But that one is not bride of wedding. This is evil. Covering your entire... A human being with almost no head. Huh? And the Lord is saying I should pray that that veil be torn. I don't know who that person is. But right now, the power of God is going. There, there, there are many of you I perceive. In the name of Jesus, that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I declare that veil torn into pieces now. Torn into pieces now. Inside, outside, online. Torn into pieces now. The last case I attend to and then we we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing. Many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach 
to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what I'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things I'm not saying to run consciously I'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of God order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you my soul longs and even thirst for you my heart and my flesh cries out for the living God for the living God incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face I'm burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you I need you, I need you. I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not Joshua Selman laying hands on you remember I told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that I will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv Number three, you are suffering from barrenness. It doesn't matter what overflow you are in. If you have any of these three cases, please, with those who are in the main auditorium, I want you to join them and come. Otherwise, please, all the overflows, move to your projector screen and stand there, all as directed by the ushers or protocol. Anyone trusting God for to be prayed for, for healing right now, I want you to make your way to the front quickly. And then in addition to that, the three cases I've mentioned, you come into the main auditorium and join. Please quickly, we have to hurry up. Overflow one, please walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, I don't know from where now. As directed, walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Uh, my God, I don't know. If there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we are going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you are yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you are done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated 
we are going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we will pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three. Since there will be several people there, overflow three. They'll be ministering to overflow three. Benga will go to overflow one. Promise overflow one, two. Um, Kenny overflow two. Two A now. Uh, two A or two B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow two B. Praise the Lord. Ima overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. Where the overflow for? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and i want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick as, prom as promised okay pastor alpha oh uh who is in overflow one only you two of you okay pastor alpha join them in overflow three pastor femi aha uh -huh. pastor femi should go to did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2. 2B. Okay, with, with Iman now. 2B or 4. You are in 2. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4. Overflow 4. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. 
if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are yet to submit I'd like you to stretch your hands to this request as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus hallelujah please agree with me in the name of jesus amen. louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the mercies of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow these requests to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we break that hardness now. Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of god that these requests are met in jesus name as i stand upon these requests i declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt no going back in the name of Jesus between now and the next three weeks may the God of heaven in the name of Jesus 
21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit i decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic word over everyone here please i like you to be sensitive don't be careless about it hallelujah please they can come and pick it i believe in the power of prophecy the spoken word is also creative it can make things happen it not only reveals what will happen it makes things that has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare over you please hear me by the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now. A job that will not take your relationship away from God. A job that will not make you compromise. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season. I speak over you. Receive fresh fire. Access. To revelation access to light receive it in jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of god to come to pass i command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now Number two, every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the Lord. I cancel that pronouncement now. Listen, by the blood of the eternal covenant, in the name of Jesus, I cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life i speak to you by the spirit step into it let me pray for favor i will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen 
there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames in the name of jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar i pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything god showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ hear me i speak to you by the god of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly and anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of jesus may god humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may god answer their prayers i open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth i declare give birth like the hebrew women in the name of jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but i must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of jesus by the god who is the lifter of men i declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in jesus name by november miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of jesus christ the final prayer i'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call 
this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture said you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and i declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you all of you in concert i want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her 
and um, they would direct you to a few people to just follow you or praise the Lord. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.